Howdy everybody YouTube land. Yachate Gross. How's Texas? Hey folks, Johnny the Practical Nurse here. You know folks, the other day I was talking to a couple of my police officer friends and I was kind of getting a general consensus about uh, some, some theories that they had and some practices they're about to implement and I told them, hold up fellas, <laughs> before we do that, let's do some testing. What it is, uh, some of them because of some of the videos that I've posted and some information that I've passed around and from, from other people who also are doing these kind of tests, uh, they're kind of wearing their soft body armor, like for just for, uh, rated for a pistol caliber ammunition, which we found out how true some of that was, didn't we? Uh, they're wearing that regular duty, and then if some kind of crisis or some kind of incident occurs, they're throwing their body armor on top of that. They're regular steel plates, their AR-500 plates. But folks, as we know, your level three AR-500 plates will get defeated by this type of ammunition. Your XM193 rounds, 55 grain, 556. Let's find out if that will actually work. Uh, it sounds like a good theory, people. You've got you know, your protection of your steel first, your AR-500 plates, and then you have your soft body armor. But let's see how well that's gonna work. All right. Down range, people. I've got probably some of the best armor I have ever tested, which is Patriot Armor. Ken, you guys are doing an awesome job over there. Their spall guard, or spall coating they have on theirs, is probably second to no one's. Trust me, I can't wait to test out their level three plus plates. All right, folks. Today I got Frankenstein. Radical firearms upper, Palmetto State alarm, uh, Armory lower, 16 inch barrel. We're at approximately 45 feet. One and seven twist on my barrel. Y'all ready? Let's go have a look. Grab the camera here, walk with me. I was aiming for that area right there. And look what I've got, folks. Okay, so let's start disassembling this here. I'm going to try my best to do this one-handed here. Because I've got nobody that's out here giving me a hand. This is going to probably snap around and snap the crud out of me. <laughs> Taking bets. Tell you what, let me just set this up here, folks. See if you can get an eye, an eye view of what's going on. Okay. Let's get over here. Drop that. And you can... Definitely see the hole I left, people. I marked the two previous holes. There's, right there's a hole I made. And we definitely have burned through here. Some soggy armor. That's not looking good, fellas. And there you have it. You'd have definitely a hole right here. Do not have an exit wound. That's interesting. Y'all see that? You know what that is, folks? Now that's lead. What this is, is the piece of armor. That's the piece of, uh... That right there, folks? That's the other piece of armor. And I don't feel anything else, so... I am... Wow. That is... Incredible. And I don't feel anything... As a whole. That is incredible. So what you got, folks, is what you got is the lead and you have the armor plate. 
Well, folks, it is what it is. Um, to all my friends that are in law enforcement, let's not go that route, okay? Let's try something else. Yes, people, I understand that that this that is that Arbor is is level three. Uh, it is not three plus. It is not supposed to defeat uh, or uh, stop a XM 195 round and 193 round. Excuse me. Uh, the uh, soft plates are old. Uh, I've got them from a uh, from a flea market. It was kind of donated ish. Made a good deal for me on that one. Um, However, if you remember those soft plates, that soft vest stopped 40 caliber full metal jacket and hollow points. It is what it is, folks. All right, folks, until I see you again on our next test, let's not use that route, okay? I'm Jolly Practical Nurse, out here.